In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a, a git merge uh, with that includes models, where the model merge it has conflicts. So we'll start out in the git repository view again, just to explain that we're currently looking, we currently um, are looking at the master branch. And what we're going to be doing is essentially promoting someone's work, where that work was done in a branch. In this case, it's done in a branch named slave1. So We'll, um, we can go ahead and right click on the repository or from the Git rep from the XTML modeling perspective, we can right click on the model uh, and, and select team merge. And we're going, as I said, we're going to merge in the branch name slave one. And it reports that there are conflicts. So at this point, we're going to open the, the, the merge tool by right clicking on the project. and selecting Team Merge Tool. Now here we're going to use the, the head version um, for any conflicting files. That, that's going to use the, the, the master branch when, whenever there is a conflicting file, rather than using the, the, works, the workspace. So here in the in the, the um, merge tool, we can now see that there are um, quite a few changes that were made to uh, something called package one. And they're all incoming changes. So we can see here um, that some signals and some operations were added. And the, the blue line shows us where each of these elements are going to be placed in the target if we accept them. So we can, we can choose to either accept all con all non non conflicting differences by selecting the the arrow that allows us to to um, to to perform that action, or we can select one item at a time and um, select only particular items that we are interested in. In this particular in this case, um, all of these elements are things that we want to add, so I'm going to simply select them all. Now at this point, you can see that the that, that our editor is marked dirty, so we need to save it. And now the changes have been saved, and if we open up the, um, the, the model, we can see that indeed the operations and signals have been added. So as the last step here, you, you see that there are still conflicts showing. What we need to do is add the, the element, the, the item that was, um, the, that was modified to the git index. We do that either by right clicking on the on the file and under team selecting the item add to index or optionally from the git staging view we can simply select the file and drag it from the unstaged changes to the to the stage changes. In fact, I'll select the option to add to index. And you see that the the uh, it, what that what that menu item does is actually move the file from unstaged to staged changes. At this point, we can commit the change if, if we wish to. Now, let's say that we are making changes and, um, and we're really confused. Some, something went wrong and we want to start over again. As long as we haven't committed our change yet, it's very easy to revert back to the original master bat branch by performing a hard reset. The way that we do that is, is um, simply by right-clicking on the, the project and going to Team, Reset, dot, 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 and performing a hard reset to reset the, the index and the files back to the original state. At this point, we can, we, it's as though we have made no changes and we can perform the, the merge over again if we wish to.